trek right into the middle of this uh, Tian Shan Canyon and uh, right in the middle there is a little temple here for people to pray and uh, let's take a look yeah right there's a statue of Buddha here so people can uh, make their wishes here All right, look at this mountain here. Well, you have to use the imagination. They say that this is uh, uh, resembles a lovesick elephant. All right, there is a little uh, signboard here that says. So up in this little uh, grotto here, you got a, a Buddha statue, which somebody must have put it there. All right. Well, this section of the uh, canyon appears to be broader and uh, more level and allows people to uh, set up uh, places of worship. And uh, then there's a mountain spring up here. People go up there to drink the water. Also, the white space now narrows to a, to a little gap like that. So this is probably the narrowest gap. Well, two outstretched arms can reach both sides of this gap. On close examination, you'll find that these are actually sedimentary rocks that were originally from the lowland, but over the millions of years of evolution, it has been raised and pushed right up to where you see in the Tian San Mountain. Well, this is another example of sedimentary rocks. Okay, so we're now in open part of the Tian Shan Mountain. So we're entering, entering the last part of the uh, canyon. Uh, it's, the passage is very narrow and everybody is taking photographs, blocking up the passageway. Well, not an easy walk. Wet, slippery floors and very narrow passage here. But nevertheless, let's venture in. Ah, it's, it's single file only, I see. Right, John. An interesting view here. Narrow pathway leading up in between the two Tian Shan mountain ranges. Okay, so we have come to the final section, which has been blocked by the rocks, and we can't go anymore. So we just end the video here, right? Okay. Bye bye. <laughs>